And we said it's a cold. So let's go out. So, oh, wait. So let's set it to cold and we're set it to 57. You can hear it click. So let's go see what's going on with his AC outside. So looking at the furnace, we can hear that the blower motor kicks on. So there's wind inside, but there's no cold air. So what I see right here is that the fan is turning, but we can hear that the compressor isn't kicking on because you should hear the compressor sound and the fan sound. Before we do anything, we need to kill the power. So I just killed the power right there. So let's uh, open up the panel where the power goes in and let's uh, take off the side panel. This pops right open. So because the fan is running, I'm pretty sure that I have 24 volts AC signal coming from the furnace. And that is located uh, at the uh, contactor right here. If I measure these two points, I have 26 volts AC right now, as you can see. So I have voltage going through there. That means the contactors are shut right now. So let's switch over to ohms right now. I'm over at ohms, resistance. So because the contactor is shut right now, so between this path right here, I should get a short, which I do, zero ohms. And from this path over here, I should get a short, zero ohms. Next I'm going to check is the capacitor, the run start capacitor. So before I do so, let's make sure that the capacitor has no more capacitance on it. And this one is for fan, this one right here is the common, and this one right here is the compressor. So I'm just going to touch both ends. Uh, with something that uh, conducts and it's all drained out. I can even switch to voltage and make sure that there's nothing on it. There's nothing, zero volts. Okay, so the capacitor isn't charged. Now I can safely remove it. So this yellow wire right here goes to the compressor. Um, I know that, but um, if you don't know that the yellow wire goes to the compressor, then what you can do is, so let's take out this capacitor real quick so we can measure it easier. One screw, capacitor comes off. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, see how, uh, right here it says fan upside down. So the brown wire goes to fan. The middle right there says C, which means common. So I have two wires, one for the fan, one for the com compressor that goes to common. And then the last thing I see HERM, H-E-R-M, which goes to the compressor. So I have these couple wires right here and I want to test this capacitor and make sure this capacitor is working. I'm going to change it to capacitance. It says nanofarads right there. And if I look at the rating of this, this is a 45.5 microfarad, which means from common to the compressor, it's 45 microfarad. And from common to the fan, it's 5 microfarad. Let's first test the uh, compressor side. So I take that off the compressor. 
I'm gonna hold on to it a little bit longer. You can see that I have 42.8 microfarads. 43, so it's pretty close to my 45. It's within 5% tolerance. From here to the fan, I get five microfarads. So I know my cap capacitor is good. Here's a wire diagram of a compressor. As you can see, um, from run R to common, common to start, <clears throat> it's all one path. So if you measure between R and C, um, usually you'll get less than um, one ohm. And from C to start, you'll get maybe two to three ohms. But if you add up all the resistance between R and S, it'll equal the resistance from R to C, C to S. If I check my schematic right here, you can see that for my compressor, the red wire goes to the run side, um, and then the common is the black, and earlier we confirmed that the yellow goes to start. This wire right here, which feeds into down there, it's all mangled up, but this one right here goes to the compressor. So that's one, number one. Number two, this is, so this goes to the run. This one right here we confirmed on the schematic. This one right here goes to the start. And then finally, the black wire that comes out of here, which is this one right here. This one right here. Goes to common. So let's turn this on. We have it on uh, ohms. And first of all, since this is common, I'm going to measure from common I'm going to measure from common to run right there and it says it's open so that alone is bad and I'm going to measure common to start the yellow one and it measures open so I'm going to measure right now from run to start. So from run to start. And it measures twenty-four I mean two point four ohms. So what I so what this means is that there is a overload protector on common. That overload protector popped open in an attempt to try to protect the compressor. Since this, since it doesn't close back, that means that the overload protector probably is bad. So this is beyond what I can do. And now I know that, hey, I need to go call a uh, uh, HVAC technician to come out and probably look at, look at this. But at least I know what to expect.